Today we're going to start talking about quadratic functions. We spent majority of the first semester talking about linear functions and today we're going to start talking about quadratic functions. Okay. Uh, you know some of this information I will uh, give you a little bit of extra information but we will kind of refer back to this as we go through our lessons on uh, quadratic functions. First of all, somewhere at the top of your page, I want you to write this. Okay. The words quadratic parent function. Okay, and I will ask you this many, many, many times. But if I ask you for the quadratic parent function, it's simply y equals x squared. Okay, now, throughout this whole unit, we'll be referring back to the quadratic parent function. So y equals x squared. Now, the how we differentiate between a quadratic and a linear, let me just give you an example. Okay, this is an example of a linear function. A quadratic function Okay. This is quadratic. Okay. Now, to tell that it's quadratic is somewhere in there we have an x squared. Okay. So if you see the, the uh, highest exponent is being a squared, if you graphed it, it would graph a quadratic function. Now, if you look at these, they're different parts. Now, y equals x squared, any quadratic function looks like one of these when we graph it. These are called parabolas. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to talk about several different things on a parabola. First of all, the point, Okay. there's one at the lowest point of the parabola, and on this one it's the highest point of the parabola. This point at either the very bottom or the very top of the parabola is called the vertex. Now, this imaginary line that splits the parabola in half, there's a mirror image on both sides. This is known as the axis of symmetry. Okay. Once again, this parabola also has an axis of symmetry. Okay, the word symmetry means the same. So what's on this side is the exact same, but a mirror image of this side. That's the axis of symmetry. Now, okay, the first thing we're going to do is find the axis of symmetry algebraically. Now, if you look at standard form of a quadratic function, <coughs> Okay, it's right up here. Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. Or for instance, Y equals 2X squared plus 3X plus 5. Okay. The A would be whatever's in front of the X squared. The B would be whatever's in front of the X. And the C would be the constant or the number that's out there by itself. Okay. In order to find the axis of symmetry, we have to know where to find the A, the B, and the C. Okay. Now, here's our first equation. Y equals X squared minus 4X plus 5. Okay. Now, first thing I want you to do is label the A, B, and C. The A is whatever's in front of the X squared. In this case, there's an understood 1. So your A is 1. Your B is whatever's in front of the X. What's in front of the X? A negative 4. And our C is 5. Okay. Now, to find the equation of the axis of symmetry, we're going to use this formula. X equals the opposite of B over 2A. 
Okay? Now, why I said the opposite of B? Because if our B is negative, like it is here, it's going to be become it's going to become positive. If it's positive, it's going to become negative. So let's just plug in everything I know. I have x equals. Okay, the opposite of B. It's, our B is negative four, so my B or opposite of B would be positive four over two times A, which is two times one. I just plugged in my A and, and B into this formula. So now, when I simplify, I have x equals 4 over 2, which is the same thing as x equals 4 divided by 2 is 2. This right here is my equation for the axis of symmetry. x equals 2. We have x in a number. It's going to graph a vertical line. Every axis of symmetry graphs a vertical line. You're going to have x in a number. Okay. Now it says find the vertex. If you notice on these pictures up here, the vertex is on the axis of symmetry. That means the x value of the vertex, in this case, has to be 2. We know the x value, but I want a point, so now I have to find my y. Okay, so just like when we did substitution, we have an x and we want to find y, all I'm going to do is plug my x in and solve for y. So take the equation. Okay, now I'm going to substitute that 2 in for x. So now y equals 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 4 times 2, so minus 8, plus 5. Right here, so I won't make a mistake, I'm just going to take out my calculator. And go 4 minus 8 plus 5. So my y equals 4. So the coordinates for my vertex are at 2, 4. I'd be able to put that on the graph if I wanted to. Okay, let's go over to the next page. Now, okay, let's put everything we know so far onto the graph. Okay, we know the vertex. Now, I have this on two separate pages. You'll have to flip back and forth. My vertex is at 2, 4. Now, my axis of symmetry is x equals 2. It's a vertical line that crosses the x-axis at 2. I just draw a dotted line, dotted vertical line. Okay, there's my vertex. Okay, now this is the part where it gets tricky for some people. It says, find a point or pick a point. Okay? Reflect it and sketch the graph. Now, what I typically do, from the vertex, I go to the left 2 or the right 2 and choose another x value. For instance, if I go left 2, okay, I could find y when x is 0. Or I could choose 4. It doesn't matter. Okay, so all I'm going to do is take the equation. Okay, so now I'm going to say pick another x value. I'm choosing 0 because it's usually pretty easy. I'm going to substitute 0 in for x and solve for y. Okay, 0 squared is 0, minus 4 times 0, which is 0, plus 5. So when x is 0, y is 5. Okay, so we have a point at 0, 5. So we have a point right here. 
Now, we said what's on this side is exactly the same as the other side. Okay, now, how far is this from the axis of symmetry? One, two. So what I could do is go two on the other side because I know it's a, I know it's a mirror image. So there's another point at one, two, three, four, five. Now that I have the vertex and two other points, I can just sketch my parabola. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. I just need to be able to see three points. Okay. Number two. Let's see something real quick. On number two, it says, find the axis of symmetry. Okay. Now to repeat what we did just a second ago. First thing I did is I found my A, B, and C. My A is whatever's in front of the X squared. What's in front of the X squared? A negative one. My B is whatever's in front of the X, a two. And my C is the number that's out here by itself. In this case, my C is negative 1. Okay, that's my A, B, and C. Now I use the formula. X equals opposite of B over 2A. Okay, so now, so X equals opposite of B. What's the opposite of 2? Negative 2 over 2 times negative 1. So we have negative 2 and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So my equation for my axis of symmetry is x equals now negative divided by negative is a positive 1. Okay. So now once I found the axis of symmetry, let's draw the axis of symmetry. It's a vertical line that crosses the x-axis at 1. Okay, there's our axis of symmetry. Now it says find the vertex. And we have the x value of the vertex. The x value is 1. So now we need to find the y value of the vertex. Take the equation. Oops. Okay. Let's substitute 1 in for x and solve for y. And now, make sure we pay attention to the order of operations. We have 1 squared is 1. Multiply that by a negative 1, so we have negative 1. And we have 2 times 1, which is 2 minus 1. So my vertex, okay, negative 1 plus 2 minus 1. If you want to put it in your calculator, go right ahead. Negative 1 plus 2 minus 1. Okay. So my vertex is at 1. My y is 0. Okay. So let's put the vertex on the graph. Okay. There it is right there. Now, pick a point. Pick another x value. Take the equation once again. So now, like I said, I typically go either 2 to the right or 2 to the left and choose another x value. I could either choose negative 1 or 3. I like positive numbers, so I'm going to find y when x is 3. Okay. 
Okay. So let's substitute 3 in for x. Okay, once again, order of operations. Exponents, three, 3 squared, 9 times negative 1 is negative 9, plus 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 1. So we have negative 9 plus 6 minus 1, which is negative 4. So my y is negative 4. Okay. So let's put this point on the graph. 3, negative 4. Okay. And it's a mirror image again. Okay. How far is it from the axis of symmetry? 1, 2. So go 2 on the other side of the axis of symmetry. Okay. And that point is at negative 1, negative 4. Now that we have our three points, I can sketch my parabola. Okay. I want to give one more example real quick. Okay, if you go to number one, on on activity six one. Okay, we'll work this one together. Okay, it says first find the axis of symmetry. Okay, let's label our A, B, and C. Is that the bell? My A is negative one. My B is four, and my C is negative one. Okay, now we use our formula once again. X equals the opposite of B over 2A. Okay. Opposite of B. B is 4, the opposite of B would be negative 4 over 2 times A, which is negative 1. Okay. Now, Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is a positive 2. So my axis of symmetry is x equals 2. Okay, make sure you make sure you label this as an equation. I don't want to just see 2. Make sure you have x equals 2. Okay. So vertical line that crosses the x-axis at 2. And let's sketch that on our graph. Now it says find the vertex. We know my x value of the vertex is 2. Now we need to find my y. So let's substitute 2 in for x. Okay. Order of operations once again. Zoom in just a little bit. Okay. 2 squared, that's 4, times negative 1 is negative 4, plus 8, minus 1. So 4 plus 8 minus 1, oh, negative 4, excuse me, negative 4 plus 8 minus 1 is 3. So my y value of the vertex is 3. So my vertex is at 2, 3. Let's go ahead and let's put this on the graph. Well, we should have done it in class. Thanks. Okay. Now there's my vertex. Now I need to find two points. Once again, choose the next value. I'm either going to choose go to the left, which would be 0, or 2 to the right, which would be 4. 0 is always the easiest. So I'm going to find y when x is 0. OK, 
Okay, so let's substitute 0 in for x and solve for y. Okay, 0 squared is 0 times negative 1 is still 0. So 0 plus 4 times 0 is 0 minus 1. Okay, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So my y is negative 1. Okay, let's put this point on the graph. 0, negative 1. Okay, now reflect it to find the other point. It's 2 from the axis of symmetry, so we go 2 on the other side. That point is at 4, negative 1. Okay, so I have my axis of symmetry written as an equation. My vertex, okay, we put the vertex on the graph, then we find two other points. Once we have three points, I can sketch my parabola. Okay, that should get you started on 6-1. You know, like I said, please refer to this. Let's make sure our answers for the axis of symmetry, the vertex, and my two points, and my graph looks very similar to this right here. If you have any questions, I will be more than glad to, to uh, answer them on an individual basis. Thank you.